Hey guys, it's Thursday and it's a little bit of a drizzly day, but I want to show you something. <laughs> This is one of the nicest 2005 Toyota RAV4s you'll ever see. It's low mileage, 138,000 kilometers, so like whatever that works out to in miles, about 75,000 miles. Tires are like new, barely lived in. It's been undercoated and uh, well maintained, lady driven and she's traded it in and uh, we're trying to sell this. And that is kilometers, folks. Not miles, kilometers. So it is loaded up really nice. It's got all the regular features, power windows, door locks, cruise tilt. Uh, it does have an aftermarket stereo in it uh, with Bluetooth sunroof remote start even came with winter wheels and tires um, we're pretty proud to have this vehicle in here uh, for a few reasons mostly because it is such it is in such good shape and low mileage um, and it shows very well earlier today the sun was almost out and it was we've got it shined up and polished really well so I took some pictures I got it up on our website and on our Facebook as well as some of the local buy and sells on Facebook and uh, my phone literally blew up and it's going it's going off again right now with uh, likely interest in this Toyota RAV4. So I'm getting ready to go for lunch and I just thought that I would show it off to you a little bit and, uh, and let you know a little bit about some of the jewels that we get in here once in a while uh, to sell. And uh, there's a lady that uh, has already called and she's from Woodstock, which is about an hour and a half away and uh, she's already committed to sending me a deposit to hold it until Saturday when they can get down here. So, didn't take very long, but uh, I knew that it wouldn't. A vehicle this, this good doesn't last uh, that long. So, we'll see what happens come Saturday. I'll keep you updated either way. Okay, so I'm sitting at home, just finished supper, and I'm relaxed. And I get a phone call from Junior. And Junior is sitting downtown with one of his, with a couple of his friends, not one of his friends. And he's telling me that his car just died. Now, he called me before supper to tell me that the battery light had come on. And I said, well, I said, maybe you're all, you're just not charging properly. And, you know, basically don't go too far out of town. So, a little while later he calls me and his car has died and the first question I asked him I said well who's with you and he says Robbie and Dawson and I'm like well that figures because Dawson is bad luck Alex has broken down three times that I can remember in the old Dakota meat wagon and every time he's broken down, guess who was with him? That's right, Dawson. So now he's got this new car. He's only had it for a couple of weeks. And uh, we knew that it had a couple of little issues that we've already fixed up, but he's out tonight. Dawson in tow and the car breaks down. So, I'm going out in the rain to pick those boys up and Alex expects me to see if I can do something about his car. So I do have my raincoat on. We'll see what we can do. At least maybe get some tools, go out to the shop, maybe we can swap a battery in this thing. But anyways, Alex says, you suppose I could borrow a car for the night? I'm like, no, not as long as you get Dawson with you. Now, having said all that, Dawson's a good kid. But, I'm beginning to think chaos theory. That 
was bad luck. So they said they were just sitting down at the, uh, down past the wharf. So that's where we're headed right now. Where's bad luck? Bad here. Hi. Hi. So you're riding in the trunk. Okay. I don't want you inside the vehicle. Okay. I don't want to break down either. Oops. Right, can we get a move on? Huh? Can we get a move on? Can we get a move on? Yeah. Pop your hood. If I remember correctly, the battery is down inside the fender. Way down in there. Which means it's not going to be easy to change out tonight. Hi. You're going on YouTube, just saying. Okay. <laughs> you too. Thanks. At least I've been with them every time we broke down. Bad luck over here. I've already documented that. <laughs> Where's your key? Right here. When, when the car started like running really bad, that little light right there came on. I would say your battery is dead because the alt layer's not charged it. So I think what we'll do is we'll go out to the shop, we'll get the booster pack, we'll come down, hook it onto your battery terminals, at least get the car over by the Civic Center. I'd sooner it be over there for the night than over here. Yeah. All right. So we'll go up to the shop and get that, and then we'll come back and move the car, and then we can take everybody home or whatever we're doing. The key is all the puns you make about it. I'm losing my mind, but not my soul. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> That's not raining as hard. Yeah. Just probably watching it right now, like, oh, well, this dog died. <laughs> He's not here driving. Go park it beside that white Buick. Hi. So I think if this YouTube channel never ever succeeds, I think I could fall back on the Donald Trump haircut. Seriously, I think I could uh, make a video out of the antics of the three kids that were just in my car. Dawson, Robbie, and Alex. They're quite a crew. So we took the booster pack right there and hooked it up to the battery to see if it would start, and it did. So based on what Alex is telling me with the battery light coming on and then shortly thereafter the car just simply dying is that I think the alternator quit charging and therefore the battery could only run so long uh, powering up the vehicle that it just lost its juice and the car died so we're hoping that it's uh, as simple as an alternator uh, if that's a simple job on that car anyway, but um, if that's what it is, we'll have to put an alternator in it. We'll see how much they are. Uh, let's compare that price to a used one 
that uh, used ones usually run about 80 to 100 dollars new ones can be you know like 150 to 300 bucks so when i get home i'll log into car quest and see if they can uh, see if we can get a price on it and we'll go from there if he needs an all nighter he needs an all nighter we'll get one one way or the other in order to get Junior's car back to the shop, we're probably going to have to have it towed. Uh, the only other option is to hook up the battery charger and see how far the battery charger will get us back to the shop. Because from where it is right now, downtown to the shop, we're probably looking at about two, two and a half miles. Those battery chargers aren't meant to be uh, drawn on as much as a vehicle would draw on it for such a long period of time. I don't want to ruin the battery pack either. so. I'm undecided on whether or not I want to take the chance on driving the car uptown, risking it dying on the side of the road, blocking traffic, or if I simply want to call CAA and uh, have them come get the car. Wait and see. Well, Junior managed to get his car out here last night. Uh, they said it only took them twice to get it boosted and uh, they were able to drive it under its own power until it lost power. And then a quick boost and it was able to go for another mile or so but we'll get it in the shop today and hopefully find out what's going on with it and he's a supporter if you want your old car auto sticker send a email to my email address in the description box below so before we can test the alternator and or the battery we've got to get it charged up so we've got on a quick charge here in a couple hours we'll come back and we'll check it I did look up the last uh, time, if you look down in there, you'll see that, that alternator, which is right there, is pretty shiny and looks fairly new. And the previous owner had just put that on back in February, so there is warranty on it. We're going to see if CarQuest will work with us to maybe get it replaced under warranty. Um, and when we come over here and we look at the battery, I'm not sure if you can see down in there, but the battery terminal is right there that looks like the original battery when you take a vehicle that the original battery is in nine years old and a brand new alternator i'm more than likely to suspect the battery is bad as opposed to the alternator but i've seen stranger things happen alternators do go bad sometimes you just get a defective one out of the box regardless we're going to charge it up we'll test it and we'll see where we go so we're going to turn uh, plug this thing in and test the battery Right now it's showing 12 volts. We'll put a load on it. And the battery seems to be holding good. So go ahead and start it now, kiddo. So if the alternator is charging, the needle should be up in here and it's not. So I'd say the alternator is bad. So it's just running off the battery. So we'll make a call to CarQuest to see if we can get another alternator up here. So it's been a popular week this week for the Chevy Tahoe. I just got a call from a friend of mine who works for another garage and uh, wants us to bring it up so he can check it out. And it sounds like it's going to be a go. So we're heading up there now. We're going to drop it off and Junior's going to pick me up in the Kia Soul. And uh, maybe by the end of the day we'll have this thing sold. Thirty-four degrees. Okay, Google. Convert thirty-four degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. Thirty-four degrees Celsius equals ninety-three point two degrees Fahrenheit. She's freaking hot, boys. It is end of day Friday on the Canada Day long weekend. We are done for the week, and we're heading down to the camper to enjoy this nice long weekend. So, despite being a very busy day with uh, Dad taking the afternoon off and having a couple of slight catastrophes come into the shop at the end of the day for a long weekend. We did manage to get those situations looked after and we also were able to get Junior's car fixed up with a new alternator. Um, the warranty was good. They were, they were gonna honor the warranty for us. We took it apart and we found that some of the uh, windings had broken. Um, I'm not sure if that was the exact reason, but I, that, that was what was physical that you could see. And we ended up getting the new one on there uh, kind of at the last minute. So his car's all fixed up. 
he's heading down to the campground. We're gonna spend the weekend down there and uh, enjoy the warm weather. So that'll do it for this video, guys. Please, if you do like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe by hitting the red subscription button down at the bottom. And don't be afraid to comment down below let me know that you're watching. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys in the next upload. Oh, snap. Campground is full this weekend. Not too often you see campers all up in there. This is all seasonal stuff over here. People who leave their trailers all year round like me. And we got more over here on the back side of the pool.